This is the verb comer, to eat in the imperfect. Now, remember, imperfect means you did it lots and lots of times, which makes sense. If you were at practice, basketball practice, and you did something imperfectly, your coach wanted you to do it again and again and again. So preterite means you did it one time. Imperfect means you did it over and over and over. Okay, so um, I'm going to say it in English and Spanish and clap, and I'd like you guys to repeat the English and the Spanish with me. I always ate. Yo comía. I always ate. Yo comía. You always ate. Tú comías. You always ate. Tú comías. He always ate. El comía. He always ate. El comía. We always ate, nosotros comíamos. We always ate, nosotros comíamos. They always ate, ellos comían. They always ate, ellos comían. Now, how do you remember that if you did it over and over, you add ia, ias, ia? Well, I better say pizzeria. Pizzeria. When I was little, I went to a pizzeria over and over and over. So if you did it lots of times, you chop off the ER and you had ia, ias, ia, ia, mos, ia. Or this is kind of icky, but if a little kid has diarrhea, he doesn't run to the bathroom once, he runs to the bathroom over and over and over. And notice, all forms of ia have an accent. At some level, you already know this. Everybody say Maria. Maria. Remember Maria had an I-A at the end and had an accent? Now say dia. Dia. In Spanish, words that end in I-A, Maria, Dia, Alegria, Comia, always have an accent. So if you see Ia, Ias, Ia, Iamos, or Ian at the end of a word, it's always going to have an accent. All right? Um, cool. Uh, that's comer to eat in the imperfect.